ready? Everybody, it's me. Hey everybody, it's Hitman from BlackOpsFishing.com. Finally going fishing. I'm not. I'm, I was trying to remember if I went after I went for stripers. I think I just took a couple of casts here and there. That's all I can remember. No video footage, nothing. So. Um, There's a couple of feet of snow on the ground. Back to back snowstorms did that. And uh, my car keeps crapping out. I can't figure out why. It's doing it again. Ay, ay, ay. I just went on the I tried to fix this thing. Let's try that down some stuff. it loses power. Somebody might know what that is. Hey everybody, Hitman from BlackOpsFishing.com. Finally getting out on the water again. I'm going to go down to the river and see if I can get some salmon. I'll just be throwing the Thomas Boyens, the rainbow pattern most likely. I got a couple other things, but my uh, typical spinning rod, 10 pound test. Thomas Boyant, um, that's about it, cast, 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 retrieve, retrieve, I cast them out and reeled them in, cast them out and reeled them in, road work, finds doubled, hey, beardo, So, uh, fishing conditions in Connecticut are basically a couple of feet of snow fell on sketchy ice. So, there's guys ice fishing, there's guys, uh, you know, I don't know what they're doing. But, that's what it boils down to. Open water that I was just fishing on is frozen again. Uh, probably not safe enough to fish on, maybe. Might tackles and all different types of despair. <laughs> I don't know, I got maybe a quarter of the way arranged for ice fishing season and the ice just kept going back and forth, back and forth. And I pretty much packed that stuff back in and now it's like I could go ice fishing, so it's crazy. I don't have the room to keep everything out and everything ready at all times, I really don't, so I pack stuff away and that's what I do. Right now, I got stuff out every week <laughs> and I don't have room for it. There's a lake right there. Probably safe. It's actually one of my favorite lakes. A lot of big bass in there. So anyway, a little bit of black ops fishing news. The roaming rod 
uh, was shipped to Portugal. Now I shipped it on January 9th and I paid 35 bucks and I, it's going to uh, Mr. Pinto over there. It's called the Fishing Channel in Portugal and uh, it's J. J-O-A-O. J-O-A-O is his first name. I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce that, but... So... I sent the roaming rod to Portugal on January 9th. And uh, uh, on February 8th, <laughs> I go to the post office and I was like, it's going to be a month. I, I couldn't understand it. I paid 35 bucks. And, uh, they said that it had just been released from customs and was in Portugal. So that was on February 8th. So, uh, Mr. Pinto from the Fishing Channel in Portugal should, uh, probably have that rod right now. And hopefully we can continue that challenge and get some good footage, um, Besides that, I just I uploaded a couple of videos that might help people uh, starting YouTube or making a fishing channel. That's pretty cool. I like to help people fish, and you know I'd like to help people with their channel. I'm looking at my channel. You know I'm not the most experienced, but I know some things that uh, you might not know when you're starting, and can make it easier for uh, other people to to uh, catch on so made a couple of videos like that and I might do that I might uh, do a few more of those so oh one other thing I'm going to do I'm going to do a I'm going to follow a bass a local fun bass circuit trail and do a weekly video of the whole you know the, the tournament breakdown and so that'll be cool local guys fun fishing, small tournament, it's called Wet Wednesday Evening Tournament, I think that's the one I'm going to do, it's, it's uh, four hours of fishing, should be an easy edit, and uh, you know, it should be uh, entertaining, follow it each week and see how, how we do it, different lakes and how we do it, so stay tuned for that. Wow, the water is so clear now. It's high, it's a little high. Nice. Uh, nice cast. And then check that drag. Oh, loose. Let's fix that. <laughs> Whoa! That sucks, man. My favorite rod. Splintered. Huh. Duck it. I got another rod. That's not good luck. Yeah, the drag was, I wasn't really pulling that hard. So I just snapped my ducket at the Chetucket and uh, I didn't swear. You know it would have rhymed though. And uh, I just switched reels and I'm going back. But snapped the ducket at the Chetucket. My favorite rod too. Love that rod. Shouldn't have snapped. I did the same drag pull on this right in the gill.
He left it there. Wow. I really thought he picked it up. I'm going to see that guy. I'm going to give it to him. That's why he left it. Because he let it get stuck in the ground. Okay, when I got here, I almost filmed him because he was talking out loud and throwing line everywhere and doing a why me. I want to fish, blah, blah. <laughs> so, I seen him walking this line down the trail behind his car. And he left this whole thing here. Hitman don't like that. Scout's on her. I'm going to return it to him. When I see him, I'll be nice. Look at that. There, now I got a video, right? Does that give me a video? I pulled all that line out of the frozen ground. hurts animals and it gives a bad name to our sport. Guy was definitely a scrub. <laughs> that popped my rod. And I got all this garbage from a job. <laughs> 